secret. It's a surprise. Mother's Day is just around the corner. And if you recall on my last thrifting and plant shopping video, I picked up this gorgeous turquoise planter. And I had mentioned that this is the color of my sister's sunroom. And wouldn't this be really pretty planted up with some gorgeous plants for her sunroom for Mother's Day? Let's get planting. But shh, it's a surprise, so we have to keep it a secret. Hi, I'm Michelle, and I'm an avid gardener, thrifter, and home decor enthusiast. If you enjoy any of those topics, come along with me and subscribe. As this summer, we go thrifting, we go plant shopping, and do all kinds of projects in the home and garden. So today, like I mentioned, Mother's Day is just around the corner and I found this gorgeous bowl thrifting and this will be perfect for my sister's home. So I picked up some local plants to go in my planter for her and I wanna get it planted up today since it is not too far off because I'd like these to get a little bit of a start and we're in the garden house today and it'll warm up over the next week or so, and hopefully these will start looking a little bit fuller for Mother's Day. So what did I get? I picked up two coleus. Aren't those pretty? They have the variegated pink on them and the green. I just thought those were a really pretty coleus. I picked up two individual white petunias, and I thought the white and the green would look nice together. And then I've got some different um, filler greenery. I have a Proven Winners Goldilocks. And then I picked up three of these and these are just Myrtle. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my potting mix. Now, as you know, I like the miracle Grow potting mix and it's got the fertilizer in it to add in a little bit of extra plant food when I'm pot potting these up. So I have this about half full and I'll fill it up more as I go, but I wanna leave plenty of space for the plants. So then I just shake in a little bit of that. And as you can see, that's little granules. So my petunias are going to climb out over the bowl. So I want to put them here on the edge and I'll put one here and then I'm going to go with this and put one on the other side. So they're across from each other and I'm going to do the same thing. Well, actually on the coleus, what I think I'm going to do here is I'm going to put them more because they're going to get taller. So we'll put those in the middle and that'll be my, my height of my planter will be more centered in the middle. And I don't know if I'll use all of these, but I just grabbed a bunch of them so I would have plenty to get going. And I really like this myrtle. I've never used it before, but I thought it was different than some of the filler that I've seen in the past. So I thought I would give it a try. Pretty good root ball. Oh yeah. So we'll put that down in there like that. And, we'll put... and I was gonna do one more, but I think I'm gonna do something different. I don't think I want to do a third of the same. So I think I do want to do see how the Goldilocks looks. This has a pretty big, oh, yeah, it's got a pretty big root ball too. And we'll just push that down inside there. Okay, and then once I have them all planted up, I will, I didn't bring my watering can out with me right now, but I will water this in. And then I'm going to leave it out here, in, like I mentioned, in the garden house for a couple weeks. And that looks good. And I have one other thing to add in here. So I'm going to go get that. 
Hey, it's the next day and we're back at it and that one more thing that I wanted to add to it. And an additional thing I wanted to tell you, I don't think you could see when I added the granules, that was extra fertilizer um, and I buy the Shake and Feed miracle Grow, so that's what I was using when I put the granules in yesterday. So what I like to do, my one added thing, since this is a gift, what I do is um, I like to put something added into it that makes it more personal for the person that I'm giving it to. So in this case, my sister likes Isabel Bloom statues. So I found this little flower and um, Isabel Bloom is concrete. It's made out of concrete. And so it's a little concrete flower. And I just thought that was really cute. Um, it came just as the flower. And I suppose you could do different things with it. Maybe put a magnet on it, use it as a paperweight, whatever you chose. Well, I decided I wanted to use it as a pick in this arrangement. So what I did was these florist picks that you can get that usually hold the little card. You can find these at your florist. You can find them online. These are very easy to cut with cutters to any size that you would need to cut them to to fit your planter. So I took some E6000 glue and I put the glue on the pick and on the back of the flower and just glued it to the pick. And so then we're going to place it in the flower. And I have a, a little hole right here that we'll put that in there. And I think it just adds to it. Now, let's say the person you're gifting it to is really into birds or they're really into butterflies. Well, I would go online or Hobby Lobby is a good source. And even maybe some of your local stores that carry the um, artificial greenery in that aisle, you, you usually find it. A lot of places that carry all the little things for like fairy gardens, you can find unique things, little animals and stuff. So what I would do is I, if it was a bird or a butterfly, I would first glue a little bit of Spanish moss on this just to give it, to cover up the plastic and to give it more of a background. And then I would coordinate, like if my planter was, um, the blue, I would look for a coordinating butterfly, bird, or if your person really likes a certain kind of bird, say they're really into cardinals, find a little cardinal, glue the little cardinal on here, and then you can cut this to the right size. And I would perch it so that it looked like it was up against a leaf, setting on a leaf. So you would just mess with it to make it work. And it just adds a little bit um, of extra and makes it more gifty. You'll want to check out this other video next.